the same way that the book had been in publishing in 1900. And just as Frank Baum and William Wallace Denslow used color as a storytelling device, so did MGM, and now they have technology to help them. Technicolor really did something for The Wizard of Oz, and The Wizard of Oz really did something for Technicolor. There were nine 35mm cameras used in the making of MGM's Wizard of Oz. These were modified to run three strips of black and white film at the same time, each through a different color filter, red, green, and blue. Combining them during processing produced brilliant colors. The biggest issue with Technicolor filming was that it, was, uh, it required very intense light in order to register that same image coming into the camera on three different strips of film through colored filters. And so it required carbon arc lamps, which produced extremely intense light and could also be very expensive. Lighting costs increased fourfold. Other production costs rose too. What's remembered as being the exemplar of the Technicolor technology and uh, the costume designers and the set designers really did go a little crazy in producing the most vibrant and vivid colors they could in order to take full advantage of the process. 